All right, now it's time to put on your thinking cap and let's talk about our story today with Ilex Ibex. Question number one. When Ilex Ibex saw shining eyes behind the lilac bush, what did he first think it was? That's right. When Ilex Ibex saw the two bright shining eyes from the, in the lilac bush, at first he thought it might be the tiger or the gigantic lion, right? Question number two. Whose eyes did Ilex Ibex really see? Yes, the eyes that Ibex saw in the lilac bush were the eyes of his pet kitty cat, Smiley. Number three. What did Irene ask Ilex Ibex to do when they talked on the telephone? That's right. As Irene and Ilex talked on the telephone, Irene asked Ilex to forgive her for making up that story, for scaring him with her story. Question four. Mama Ibex said, When you do right, you will feel happy. Good job. Good job. Good job of thinking. Question number five. Whom did Ilex Ibex want to help? Who was coming for a visit? That's right. Ilex Ibex wanted to help the missionaries who were coming to visit them. Okay. Question number six. What idea did Mama Ibex have for earning money to help the missionaries? That's right. Mama Ibex's idea for earning money to help the missionaries was for Ilex Ibex to sell limeade to their thirsty neighbors, right? Number seven, question number seven, okay? The sign on Ilex Ibex's limeade stand said, limeade with ice is very nice. Now is the time, the price is a dime. Good job. Nice, nice, dime. They rhyme, don't they? Number eight, question eight. How many dimes did Ilex Ibex have in his pile? Ilex Ibex had nine dimes in his pile. Now remember, Ilex Ibex, question number nine. What did Ilex Ibex smell? He sniffed, and you're right, Ilex Ibex smelled smoke, didn't he? And our last question, number 10. What did Ilex Ibex see in the sky? Yes, Ilex Ibex saw orange and yellow flames in the sky. Good job of listening. Good job. You're doing a super job. You are awesome. All right, and now it's time for our vocabulary words. Let's build our vocabulary, all right? Question number one. What does reminded mean? I remind you to make your bed. I remind you to do your homework. What does that mean? That I tell something again, right? I told you, don't forget to make your bed this morning. And then later on, I come back and say, I'm reminding you to make your bed, meaning I'm telling you again. Number two, what does memorized mean? Memorized. That's right. Just like you memorize your memory verses, that means you are able to say something like a verse or a poem without reading it because you've memorized it, right? Blessed is the man who walks not. That's me We memorized that. We learned it without reading it, right? Number three, what does kind mean? You are kind. You're so good at sharing because you are kind. That's right. It means you are nice. You're helpful. Number four. What is a fine idea? That was a fine idea that Mama Ibex had, wasn't it? 
That's right. A fine idea is a good idea, a helpful idea. And what does sliced mean? When you slice something, Mama Ibex sliced the lime. The limes. What did she do? She cut. Sliced. Cut. Do you hear the I sound in sliced? Good. All right. Word number six. What does price mean? You look at the price of the toy. You look at the price of the bag of potatoes. What is the price? Price. Do you hear the I sound there? Price. Right. Price means the cost. How much money you need to buy that. That is the price. Right. And word number seven. What does thirsty mean? I know you know what thirsty means because you like to go get a what? A drink at the water found. Thirsty means you need a drink. Your mouth is dry. And our last vocabulary word, number eight. How do you wrinkle your nose? You wrinkle your nose. You draw it up like a bunny goes. You wrinkle your nose. Good job. You are super duper students. Kiss your brain. Pat yourself on the back. And a yippee yay yo kaye to you, my friends. Have a great day.